Book dead. We didn't get a pulse for at least five minutes. He had to be dead. Now at 11, a man hit by an out-of-control truck on Tampa's iconic Bayshore Boulevard. We noticed a body in the water for about a minute. He was underwater for about five minutes, face down. Police pointing the finger at a pool boy allegedly drunk behind the wheel of his company's car. We're all adults. Do your job. Drive safe. That's all. Um, can't fake stupid. And as we come on the air tonight, you're looking live at the scene of the crime. Tampa police detectives questioning the suspect just identified as Benjamin Ehas. Witnesses say he was speeding before spinning off the road, slamming into an innocent jogger, throwing him into the bay. Action Air 1 high in the sky is Tampa's finest arrival on the scene to try to save his life. But as we now know, his injuries were too severe. New at this 11 o'clock hour, we're getting a better idea of just how intoxicated the suspected killer was behind the wheel. Police just identifying Benjamin Ehas. This is a mugshot from a previous arrest because he is still in the hospital. According to police, his blood alcohol content was three times the legal limit. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith at the scene tonight. Bayshore Boulevard, a scenic waterfront stretch, once again the site of an innocent person killed, this time out just trying to exercise. Tonight, investigators say Benjamin Ehas was nearly three times the legal limit driving a work truck on Bayshore Boulevard, punching a hole in the concrete seawall, knocking an innocent jogger into the bay. That victim did not survive. It could be any one of us. Irene Garcia says the bay's breathtaking views now take a back seat. Today's tragedy is another reminder of beautiful Bayshore's danger. But unfortunately becoming a hazardous place now, you almost are afraid. You, every day you take your life in your own hands. Uh, myself and two other dudes jumped in the water. Rescue crews call Christopher Martinez a good Samaritan for bravely jumping in after that victim. He was underwater for about one to two minutes and we got in. We were in the water for like five to seven minutes, just holding him up. Um, trying to get him out of the water on a ladder. This marks the second recent high-profile crash on Bayshore Boulevard. A mother and her baby were killed crossing near Knights Avenue in 2018. We just have to move forward now and just figure out, you know, what's the best way we can get Bayshore safe again. In Tampa, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News. The man who police say caused the crash is an employee of a pinch a penny, a pool service and supply company. The business sent us a statement tonight, which reads in part, quote, pinch a penny is shocked and saddened by the tragic incident that occurred this morning involving an employee of a franchise location in Tampa. An investigation is currently underway and the local franchisee is fully cooperating with authorities. We send our deepest sympathies to the family and friends 